Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the third session of the chapter Materials of the Earth's Crust. In this session, we are going to learn about sedimentary rocks. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. Develop understanding about formation of sedimentary rocks. Compare and contrast between mechanically formed sedimentary rocks and chemically formed sedimentary rocks. Acquire knowledge about the common sedimentary rocks. List different types of natural cements present in nature. List some common uses of sedimentary rocks. Before we begin our exploration about sedimentary rocks, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding the sedimentary rocks. First, all sedimentary rocks are formed due to erosion, transportation, deposition, compaction and cementation. Second, coal is a sedimentary rock. Third, all sedimentary rocks have visible layers. Fourth, sedimentary rocks have no use as they are very soft. Well, all these are misconceptions. Let us look at the facts. Once rocks are formed, they can be attacked by agents such as running water, wind, moving ice, waves, extremes of temperatures, atmospheric moisture, weak acids and at times even plants and animals. As a result, rocks wear away. If the processes of wearing down are physical, rocks will be broken up into smaller pieces called clasts or sediments or regolith. The deposition of these clasts and subsequent compaction and cementation will result in formation of rocks. Such rocks are arranged in layers. Hence, they are also called stratified rocks. Sedimentary rocks are so called because they are formed out of sediments which is the term given to broken rock fragments. The following processes lead to the formation of sedimentary rocks. Deposition Deposition is the accumulation of sediment in a low-lying area of the earth's surface. Usually, the continental shelf, river basin or a lake. The sediments are deposited in layers. Therefore, sedimentary rocks are also called stratified rocks. Compaction On account of continuous deposition of sediments, the underlying sediments are subjected to pressure due to which they tend to occupy the least possible volume. This process is called compaction. It is similar to the process by which 
we try to fit in rice or any other cereal in a jar we try to press it from the top and shake it so that the particles occupy minimum space cementation in this process the rock fragments are bound together by calcium carbonate silica of iron oxide rainwater dissolves atmospheric gases like carbon dioxide and result into a weak carbonic acid this carbonic acid takes the chemically weak minerals like mica calcite and feldspar into solution this solution percolates through the sediments and occupies the space between the rock fragments thereby cementing them the processes of compaction and cementation are often named collectively as lithification types of sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks can be classified as mechanically formed sedimentary rocks chemically formed sedimentary rocks and organically formed sedimentary rocks let's look at each one of these categories mechanically formed sedimentary rocks these rocks are also called fragmental or clastic rocks since they are formed out of fragments or pieces of other rocks dynamic agents like rivers glaciers sea water and wind erode rocks and break them into smaller particles which are called sediments these sediments are transported and deposited in low lying areas of the earth where they undergo the process of compaction and cementation examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks include sandstone clay shale conglomerate sandstone is a rock made up of well rounded grains of quartz cemented together shale is a rock made up of very small flat grains of clay and mica cemented together whereas conglomerate is a rock made up of large pieces of other rocks cemented together chemically formed sedimentary rocks these rocks are also called non clastic rocks these rocks may be formed by compaction and cementation of shells in shallow parts of the continental shelf or they may also be formed due to precipitation of minerals from a super saturated solution the water evaporates the minerals crystallize and are compacted resulting into a rock examples are rock salt or halite gypsum dolomite limestone is the most important chemically formed sedimentary rock limestone is formed by the accumulation of shells shell fragments or coral fragments or by the crystallization of the mineral calcite from water a point to be noted here is that petroleum deposits are found 
along with deposits of limestone. Rock salt or halite is a chemically sedimentary rock that forms from the evaporation of ocean or saline lake water that is sodium chloride. It is also known by the mineral name halite. Chipsum, a rock formed by the precipitation calcium sulfate from sea water. It forms in lagoons where ocean wat waters high in calcium sulfate content can slowly evaporate and be regularly replenished with new sources of water. Organically formed sedimentary rocks. There are certain deposits that form in a manner characteristic to that of sedimentary rocks but may not be considered as rocks for two reasons. First, they may not be in a solid state and second, they are organic in nature. Nonetheless, a discussion of sedimentary rocks would always be incomplete without a mention of these rocks and therefore a short description is included here. In regions rich in vegetation, dead remains of plants decayed and decomposed under fresh water conditions such as those in a swamp. This results in the formation of peat. As more and more peat is formed and subjected to pressure and a bit of heat, the carbon content increases and it turns progressively into lignite, bituminous and eventually anthracite, the coal with the highest carbon content. It is also essential that conditions required in coal formation remain undisturbed for a significantly long period of time. Such conditions have been found in ancient troughs, those formed due to blocks moving down between two normal faults. In fact, the continuity of troughs across continents has served as an essential evidence for continental drift. For example, the coal found in troughs in Madagascar has also been traced in the Narmada and Damodar Valley in India, where dead remains of animals are decayed and decomposed in marine water conditions such as those in marsh, petroleum or crude oil results. If you observe the setup, two non-permeable rock layers are covering a permeable rock layer like limestone and dead organisms. Over a period of time, dead organisms decay and decompose and form petroleum and natural gas. Owing to its fluid nature, however, it does not remain for long in its host rock and may migrate elsewhere due to earth movements. In their search for petroleum, geologists look for traps which are likely locations where petroleum can be found. Such traps include crest and anticlines and the boundary of faults and overlying impervious layers. Uses of sedimentary rocks Rocks such as sandstone and limestone are widely used as building stones. Sedimentary rocks contain deposits of important minerals like iron ore, manganese, bauxite, gypsum, coal, and petroleum. Fossils present in sedimentary rocks help to determine absolute and or relative age of rocks.
this was all for this session in the next session we will focus on the metamorphic rocks don't forget to watch thank you